before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it, like, too far? Well, about, like, 25 minutes, I'd say. <laughs> I just slapped you. Are you all right? What? <laughs> So you like to fight. You ever win? No one ever wins a fight. This ain't the Holiday Inn, pal. I am, I'm moving. A friend of mine suggested I come talk to you. I own a roadhouse out in the Florida Keys. Lately, it's been attracting the wrong clientele. I can pay you good money. Judging by your car, you need that. Well, I like my car. Think about it. Come on, bro. Monkey, for my kid. I know who you are. Elwood Dalton. Big fan, man. That guy's got a knife under his shirt. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. You can do it. Tell me about this bouncer. Yeah, it's all nice. Like he's Mr. Rogers or something. But then he'll haul off. <laughs> really interesting guy, overall. Brand wants to take the roadhouse away from me. He wants to build some resort. I should warn you, people have a certain way of getting things done around here. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a smashing night. Dalton! I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Come on, bro. Let me guess. You know, threaten me. Tell me to get out of town. I get the impression that you can't be threatened. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. It takes a lot to get me angry, but when I am, I just can't let go. People seem a little aggressive around here. One in front of yours? No, I just broke his arm. I've been waiting 40 years for this. They called themselves Ghostbusters. According to these hacks, they saved the world. No eyewitnesses. And who is found to carry the torch? Descendants of Egon Spengler. You have a miner hanging out the side of a moving vehicle, firing a laser gun indiscriminately. It has a proton pack. It's completely safe. I wouldn't say completely safe. The Ghostbusters are finished. Right. Well, overruled. Sustained. Thank you. You the weird guy who buys strange old things? Correct on both counts. Buddy, you just hit the jackpot. What is it? Better question is, what's inside of it? Parables tell of an unimaginable evil commanding an army of ghosts. With the power to kill by fear itself. Like literally scared to death? We might be looking at a second ice age. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. Can I be of any help? Melnitz in uniform! Yeah! If there's something strange, if there's something weird, who are people gonna call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel mm -hmm. good. It makes me feel good. Heads up! All dark and horny at 12 o'clock.
Gus March Phillips. I have a mission I want you to lead. Thank you, Sergeant. What's the plan? To neutralize the German U-boats in the North Atlantic. We're losing the war. Hitler is not playing by the rules, so neither are we. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. The reason they find you unattractive is the very reason I find you attractive. If I'm to do this, I'll need my own team. You won't like them. Let's go! They're all... No! Mad. They'll need to be. This is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. If we fail, England will be condemned to a lifetime under the German boot. And so I said, that is not a dog. That is my wife! <laughs> it's very good. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do off. <gasps> Stanicky, what up, man? Are you serious? Have someone call me when you get out of surgery, all right? You should drive out there. Ricky's been there for you guys your whole lives. The devil's in the details, my friend. <laughs> it worked. Atlantic City, here we come. What we got? Ricky's cancer's back. Why does it have to be cancer? Won't everybody get worried? Yeah. And that's going to take us right into the World Series. To Ricky Stenicki. The best friend we never had. Mm. My baby's going to be born six weeks early. I was born six weeks early. Oh, shit. <laughs> I want to know where the hell you guys were tonight. We called every hospital and there was no record of a Ricky Stanicky. You know, all we did was tell one lie. Hundreds and hundreds of times over many, many years. If the truth does come out, my marriage is over. What if we hire an actor to play Stanicky? Rock hard rod, X-rated rock and roll impersonator. I do a whole act, wall to wall, top to bottom, jizz jams. Thanks for coming out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So horny to be here. This is a really bad idea. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I've been cold turkey in the booze. Ricky Stanicki's in the program, remember? Oh, Rod. It's not what you think it is. It's just piss. I'm a hyper every time, not my muff. I want you to admit that Ricky Stanicki does not exist. Hey, my spooka! Stanicki! Yeah. Oh, yes! Yes! This is Ted Summerhays, my boss. Ted, nice to meet you. Digging the suit in the seedlings, man. The seedlings. The hair plugs are new, right? This is my hair. We're gonna lose our jobs. That my best friend. She a real bad gonna dance for Epic night, am I right, guys? throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend. I was really taken with your friend Stanicki. He's got brass balls on him, that guy. That's why I hired him. That's awesome. You just said... What did you say? Just say it one more time. We can't let him out of our sight. Not only did I miss the birth of my son, but I let some porno Peter Frampton impersonator snip his... And we're done. Stanicki, you are unbelievable. Show's over, Rod. It's Ricky. Ricky Stanicki isn't real! My job sucked. I had no friends. But now I have all those things. Oh, are you a fraud, sir? What are you talking about? Best friends. That's my best friend. We gotta get rid of him. Every time he tries to make a point, it's like he's smoking invisible dogs. Dear God, it's true. To support. Now it looks like I'm cupping the balls. <laughs> Hello, everybody! Drew, what's up? Wait a minute. Three <laughs> girls, <laughs> one wife, something is missing. This guy! Oh, there's my boy! I know you love your dada. Go on, say it. Dada. Dada. Yes, of course he loves you. He just he just doesn't show it on his face. Or with his body language. <laughs>
Right, Gru Jr., come on. Gru, I need a word with you. Your family's lives are at stake. What? Maxim Nabal has escaped from prison. I'm coming for my revenge, Gru. <laughs> we have to get to the safe house. It has a vendor machine! <laughs> I love this place! Look up! The most important part of a heist is being aware of potential dangers. I trained myself! Congrats on the dream job. Been after this for years, ain't you? Leave nothing but footprints. Kill nothing but time. Morning, Ranger. 114 spawning over. There's no database for people who go missing in the national park. And there are a lot of similarities between these cases. Gets their place. It doesn't turn out well for them. This is not the place to work if you can't handle that sort of stuff. Every day, I've prayed for a way to protect the weak. 
I've got an answer to every prayer. I call her Nikki. Minaj. Big bumper. Nice headlights. Let's boogie. You need to fight for your mother, for all of us. Anger will not quiet your soul, my son. Don't call me son. It's time to remember who you are. But only love kills more when will they learn? Just one small ember can burn down everything. I'm you. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a fight? One, two, three. I just don't think you understand how Tinder works. Can I tell you something? I know exactly how Tinder works. Then you I do. don't understand how flirting works. How do you think you got here? It hurts. Where, honey? Everywhere. Can you please just come out so she can see you? Madam, you need to say goodbye to your daughter. You have to get strong now. I can't. You can. And you have to let me help you. Life. Every life. Ends. I felt the pain that you have. I don't know uh, what I am without you, who I am without you. I don't know what the world is without you in it. I love you more than anything in the whole world. You'll be okay. Promise. Promise. Promise, promise. Such a morbid imagination. Bringing dead things to life. Hey, she emerges from her cave. Hello. When do you think you'll finish this film of yours? I don't know. All that stuff. It's called stop motion animation. 
What do you think? It's a bit boring. It's not finished. It's not boring. Make a new one. A new one? Yeah. A new, better story. You want to hear it? There's a girl. She's scared. There's someone coming. Who's coming? The man no one wants to meet. The Ashman. But you bring it to life. What does the Ashman do? Don't be scared. Whatever it is you think you saw back there, it's not real. <laughs> I don't want to make this film anymore. Don't you want to hear the next bit of the story? <gasps> I want to go home. I want to go. What happens when it takes on a life of its own? God save me for a reason, but I'm still searching for what that reason is. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello? I know God saved me for a reason, but I guess I'm still searching for what that reason is. Too much blood of Christ. It's a miracle. You are with child. Out of all the women in the world. Why did he choose me? How can we trust what's inside you? Suffering. You should love. Suffering, suffering, suffering. You should love. so much. I miss you too, Mama. Will you be careful out there? Always. I'm very happy to be back home. But things are different. I have a piano in my house. And I don't play the piano. Do you have hallucinations? Mama? Yeah. Astronauts go through things they don't understand. That's when people come unstuck. When I was up there, the only thing I could focus on was getting back to my daughter. I miss you, Mummy. Will you be careful out there? Mommy, who was that? That was you and me right before the accident. That was not me. Mama? Where is she? Who? <sighs> you! I invented a machine we took into space, and I saw something. But it seems like it doesn't want to be seen. 
People see things up there. And when they get back, they go crazy. This isn't madness. You need to help me. I need to go back to her. Do I seem the same to you? I just don't feel like you're my mom. The mystery of the obscene little Hampton lettuce is causing widespread distress across the nation. Edith Swan takes it up the <laughs> and she loves it more than Christmas Day. Only words about that. She sucks ten <clears throat> a week, minimum. Holy heavens. In the end, I think it's just jealousy. Rose Gooding, you are writing these wicked little letters to Edith Swan. Why would I send a letter when I can just say it? I'll get you in the ball, sir! She's heinous. You want <gasps> in the nose, you old beetle. Beetle? Right. <laughs> You're charging her. What's the evidence? Let me out, you work! Similarities in the language. I've got a daughter at home. Why would I risk it all? In prison, Rose may find some kindred spirits. In prison? No, no, not the murderers or the rapists. I'm thinking more the drunks and the queers, maybe. Just trying to find a bright side. I believe we may be charging an innocent. If you meddle in my case, these will be on your wrists. She makes me wonder. I think you've been set up, Rose. Is there anyone who'd want to do such a thing? Have you got a pen and paper? I like you, Rose. I hate her! <laughs> you don't like the idea of me leaving this house, do you? You are a serial liar. No. We'll find who wrote these letters. I notice they say foxy ass a lot. Nobody swears like that. What would you say? You look like Queen Victoria Shunt. <gasps> you daft old oh. 